is that time here on a Friday for Tasker's Teammate, presented by Wegmans Meals to Go. Delicious meals delivered. Download the Wegmans app today. Steve, are you ready? I am. Clue number one for Tasker's Teammate. Born in Rome, Georgia in 1972. I played my high school ball for the Pepperell Dragons in Lindale, Georgia. That was his high school ball? Oh, yeah. The Pepperell Rome, Dragons. Rome, Georgia. Wow, I got me. Don't know. All right. That's a good Clue one. Clue number two. I accepted a scholarship to Memphis University for college ball. I was a three-year starter, and much like Steve, also spent some time on special teams in addition to getting some opportunities as a punt returner. I am most famously known for blocking four punts in one game in a 22-6 win over Arkansas, breaking the all-time NCAA record of three, which was set back in 1942. How do I not, like, immediately know who that is? Okay. All right. Four punts. He's, and the college was Memphis? Yes. It's not Russell Copeland. It is not. And he's got to be at least 10 years younger than me. He's born in 72. Right. So he's a young guy. Okay, go ahead. Clue number three. My college exploits, which included five interceptions in my career, made me a fourth-round pick of the Bills in 1995. <laughs> what? Did you hear that? Fourth round pick in Fourth 1995. Pick in I started three games as a rookie as injuries at my position thrust me into the lineup. Oh, gosh. Um, Do you have an idea on a position here? Got to be a corner or safety. It could be a linebacker. Sam Rogers. It is not Sam Rogers. Gabe Northern. It is not Gabe uh, Northern. It's not Jeff Burris. It is not Jeff Burris. I'm going to go to the next clue. Yeah, go to the next clue. After three seasons with Steve as a teammate, I became a full-time starter in my fourth season, starting opposite fellow starter Thomas Smith. So now you know the position. Uh, Kirby Jackson. Not Kirby Jackson. Um, I'm, I'm on it. I Hold on. Wait. Uh, I don't know. Oh, God. So you have the position. All right. You know he was your teammate for the last three years of your career. Right, right, right. Last four years. Oh, wait. 95, 96, 97, oh, right? Okay, that... yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, go, go ahead. Give me another one. I would, I would play for the Bills for seven seasons. Oh, my gosh. With my last coming in 2001 before I signed with New Orleans in free agency. New Orleans. I should get this. Right. Oh. Kenny Irvin. It is Kenny Irvin. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Kenny, Kenny Irvin. Irvin. And Kenny Ken Irvin. Kenny Irvin. And we got Kenny on the line here. Oh, yeah. Kenny! What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Steve? How you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> he was sweating you. it out there I for was. a little I bit. Didn't wanna, I don't want to go too deep into the clues because then they just, you know. How you do? What are you? What are you? What are you doing, man? What are He's you doing coaching. these days? Are you coaching? Man, I am here here in Atlanta. I've been coaching here for the last 15 years or so as a community coach, just trying to get my fix and um and been doing that and being a been a dad in real estate and just trying to trying to keep things moving, man. Awesome, man. Where are you coaching? Um, at a school called Great Atlanta Christian here in Atlanta, Georgia, where my kids Great. went to school. So very nice. Uh, I'm an empty net. We, the empty nesters now. Both of my kids are. One is a junior in college. My other is graduated. So man, we we're. I'm enjoying the life now, man. That's about right. Yeah, so, we're empty nesters too. That's good. That's awesome. I I did not remember you had blocked four punts in a game. Yep, that's kind of like what 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 my kind of special team niche was. It kind of. 
as a rookie. Uh, no, actually, I was a freshman at Memphis, and I, to to, the, to this day, Steve, I honestly like it's impossible to block the same punt four times from the same exact position and change the punter and the kicker, and them not realize that it was their scheme. It's like right. uh, it was just uh, it's right. unheard of. Yeah. yeah. That's unbelievable, though. Um, Kenny, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you you coached a current member of the Bills practice squad. Kyler McMichael is on the Bills practice squad right now. You coached him at Greater Atlanta, Atlanta Christian School, right? Absolutely, I did. I'm, I'm excited about that. I mean, I told him once he got picked up by the Bills, like, like Bills Mafia, is, it's nothing like it, and – and he's excited to be there, um, looking forward for the opportunity. You know, obviously the new management there, those guys spent a, a great deal of time in developing their players, just like with Benford and all those guys. I mean, uh, 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 D. Jackson. Um, it's, it's, a, it's amazing what they're doing. So he's in a good position. He's a heck of a talent, and I'm excited to see that he's got his foot in the door up there. How long has it been since you've been back to Buffalo? Oh, uh, I was back in Buffalo this summer in July. I came to the uh the little the golf tournament for the uh NF the uh uh the one we had over there at by the airport. Um the last Oh yeah, at, players, the, uh, uh, at the alumni tournament. At, the alumni at, uh, tournament, absolutely. At Diamond Hawk Golf Tournament. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's uh that's one they yep. always have there. Yeah. I'm they always have that and I can never make it because I'm on the job. They have it on a That's weekend, right. They so, have it right yeah. during the day. Yeah, yeah, you can never make it. Awesome. Yeah. Kenny, um yep. You so you went to New Orleans for one season and then you finished up in Minnesota, correct? Um, New Orleans or Minnesota? You finished up in Minnesota your last right. couple of years, right? Like, yeah. so you yeah, got you got yeah. back you got back with Antoine Winfield and and Pat Williams up there, right? Didn't weren't they on the team then, up there in Minnesota? Yes, actually, yep, they were. Both of those guys were there. I I think Antoine came. Yeah, Antoine came after me as a free agent when he left Buffalo. To Minnesota, and I think Pat Williams came. He may have been at a year before, or kind of. He may have came a year or two right after I was there. But yes, yeah. I played with those guys for a couple of years while I was in Minnesota. Yeah. yeah, and obviously you were part of uh, the number one defense in '99, uh, which you know the Bills finally duplicated last year. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you saw this, but right around, right before, right at the end of training camp. Ted Cottrell came down to practice and we got a picture of him and Leslie Frazier, the two coordinators who are the last two DCs to have the number one defenses. But what was that 99 year? Like, I know they couldn't run the ball on you guys at all back in 99, but what do you remember about that year when, when you guys really locked it down on defense? I mean, it, it just, it was just a, a great group of guys. I mean, with Henry Jones, Kirk Schultz, Bruce Smith, I mean, you go on and on the list. It was, you know, it. My job as a as a young guy was just kind of being there, you know, do my job, understand what the game plan was. But, but I mean, it was it was it was so surreal in that year and what we were able to do and accomplish. Um, and it's just a testament to Coach Cottrell and, and trusting us and, and us growing together and and putting all the pieces together and to see it come to fruition on the field was. It was a good good part of being able to say that you was a part of a number one team, a number one ranked defense in the NFL. It says a lot, and um, you know we talk about that all the time still. So it's it's good. It was good. Well, Kenny, you, you I got to tell you, you look the same. I recognize you now because I see you. <laughs> um, it's great to talk to you. I'm glad you're here. You're doing well. Good luck with your kids. I'm glad you're an empty nester like I am. It doesn't make me feel all that much older. So I appreciate it. It's good to see you, man. Thanks for coming on with us. No problem, guys. I appreciate you having me. Have a blessed day.